This story was supposed to be about my mother, and I struggled with why it was not, until I realized that I was blessed with many mothers. You see, my parents divorced when I was young, and as a result, I was raised by an extended family of women. Four generations of strong-willed, God-fearing Southern women who all had clear, but sometimes conflicting ideas about everything <laughs> under the sun. I loved spending time with all of them. But after school and weekends at the home of my great-grandmother, Leanna, and my great-aunt, Bibi, were my favorite times of all. Married and divorced early, my Aunt Bibi had no children of her own. My grandmother and she shared a home together, and they were always there for me. They looked out for me as a kid when my mom was at work, and they sometimes secret and sometimes very publicly bought all the things that my parents couldn't afford to and taught me how to aspire to being more than I had ever imagined I could be in this life. Grandmother was sweet and demure, but let's be clear, Aunt Bibi was no shrinking violet. Every step that my grandmother took to raise a sweet southern belle was most assuredly undermined by Bibi, trying to raise a free-spirited, self-sufficient me. I don't know whether she was born with a sassy tongue or whether she acquired it through the difficulties that she faced in life, but I do know that by the time I came along, Aunt Bibi was a spitfire and well on her way to becoming the queen bee of our neighborhood. And she was always ready to make me into a rebel rousing version of herself. Here are a few jewels of the conflicting wisdom that the two of them provided me over the years. Grandmother Leanna said, always be prim, proper, and demure in your speech and your dress. Aunt Bibi said, child, always wear red or black. <laughs> Never ever miss the opportunity to show out in sequins or fur if you have them. Grandmother said, smile. You can always find something kind to say about everyone you meet. Aunt Bibi said, a good cussing out never hurt anyone. How are people supposed to know how to get themselves together if no one bothers to tell them how raggedy they are? Grandmother said, develop a sweet, dainty, subtle laugh. <laughs> Aunt Bibi said, if something is funny, tilt your head back as far as it will go. Laugh loud and long, like a sailor on shore leave. Grandmother Leanna said, when invited to a party, never be critical of the hostess. Aunt Bibi said, always host the party at your own house so that if somebody says something you don't like, you can tell them to get the hell out. <laughs> Grandmother said, Never, ever discuss your lady parts in front of other people. <laughs> Aunt Bibi said, talk about your lady parts as often as you like, 
as long as you refer to them as kitty or cat. Keep it clean and neatly trimmed. But just because it's looking good doesn't mean you need to flash it around town. My grandmother was a conservative Christian who believed that you should love God and on the Sabbath, you should never cut with scissors, drink alcohol, sew or play games. Now, Aunt Bibi believed whatever grandmother believed. However, she subtly taught me that you should give God his three hours on a Sunday morning, say grace at the dinner table, and then wait for Grandmother Leanna to take a nap and do whatever you want. <laughs> Grandmother said that ladies, when leaving the home in fashionable clothing, should always be sure to wear a girdle and a long line bra so that your clothes fit nicely and people know you're from a good family. <laughs> Aunt Bibi said, you can wear a girdle and a long line bra if you like, so that your jeans fit nicely. You can also walk like a hussy. But just because you walk that way, it doesn't mean you have to put out. <laughs> wear red lipstick because every woman looks good in red lipstick. But don't wear eyeshadow. It's a bit too much. <laughs> Buy yourself a pistol and make it known throughout the neighborhood that you know how to use it. And you most likely will never have to. Wear perfume if you like. But please know that perfume has never, ever taken the place of a good bath with ivory soap. Date who you want, when you want, do what you want with who you want, but remember that in the end, you are the only person you can really count on. They were quite a pair, don't you think? Is it any wonder that I sometimes feel sadness for my own daughter who will never get to know the two of them? Great grandmother Leanna was an extraordinary woman and much of who I am today comes from the lessons that she taught me as a child. How to love God, how to respect myself, how to eat well on a tight budget, Whenever I am called on to do the simplest task like cookies for Teacher Appreciation Day and I balk, I think about how she managed to lovingly raise five children and learned how to be just hard enough on them so that they would grow up to be good and productive citizens. How she worked multiple jobs tended to her Xenia flower garden, scrubbed kitchen floors, and always baked dinner rolls and pound cakes for church fundraisers. And she still somehow managed to come out looking good at the end of the day. These lessons are the foundation on which my house is built. But the lessons that Aunt Bibi taught me are the house itself. Thank you to both of them. But most of all, thank you to my mother, who had the good wisdom to bring the both of them into my life.